Hey everybody, Tim Staraci, and I'm here with Andrew Barda at Tech 21 Studio 21, and we're here to talk about the Character Plus series today. Brand new pedals that you're gonna love. So, Andrew, tell us Hi. a little bit about it. Um, we've been making Character Series pedals since 2008. And um, here's one oldie but goodie. The Blonde. This is The Blonde. Basically, it's a Fender style amplifier emulation. And um, these were very popular. We made, I guess, eight different style. And uh, I kept thinking about, you know, like um, to get like a full sound in the studio, you actually need one extra thing, which is many times a pedal or some kind of a booster. If you look at any famous artist, they always have some extra little modification going into the amp. Oh, there's always some secret sauce put in right, somewhere. Right. Like I love the uh, story with Deep Purple, uh, Richard Blackmore had a tape recorder that he used the preamp of it to run into his marshals. Huh. I never heard that one. Yeah. And then, of course, we have Jimi Hendrix with the fuzz face. And that's created that Hendrix sound. Right. Uh, there are some other secrets. For example, ACDC, everybody thinks that it's just a Marshall, but he's using a wireless. Really? And the wireless has a compander chip and has some extra boost that it can produce. So there's a company, I guess in Italy, I, I run into that guy who makes just that part, the compander part, that you can plug into your Marshall and you get the ACDC oh, set. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's always something. Always something. Always something to give you that little edge. Steve Ray Vaughan. Yeah. The Tube Screamer. Yep. Famous matching. So the special Tube Screamer. Very special. Right? But <laughs> it's really the combination of the right. amp and the pedal. So. I felt that we have to take this character ser series to the next level. Which you did. Yeah, to pair it up with the appropriate pedals. See, here's the other problem. It's not enough to have a really cool pedal and a really cool amp like one of these, but you also have to match them properly. Because, for example, you get a tube screamer, you plug it into a Roland JC120, it's not gonna sound too good, okay? It needs the right, amp for it to sound good and then it, that amp has to be cranked up. So a funny story when I was about 14 uh, my parents took me to London and my first thing was to go to a music store and try things out and um, this guy showed me like uh, overdrives and distortions and there was like a color sound um, I, I guess it was overdrive and he plugged it into an amp it sounded great so my parents told me I can choose only one thing. You know, I cannot buy a bunch of things. So I chose that, took it home, plugged it in, sounded like shit. <laughs> Why? Because I plugged it into a different amp, you know, and the amp didn't produce that additional overdrive right. to give you the combination. So this is what we try to do here is to put together the full sound with the pedal and the amp. So for example, here's the, uh, uh, the blonde, this is the original, this is the new one, and this has a tube screamer style overdrive in it. Now, the cool thing is that you can actually use just the overdrive as well if you want to, and uh, you can use just the uh, blonde if you want to, but then when you put it on together, that's when the magic happens. Right, so basically, you created the classic pairings. Exactly. The most notable classic pairings that you could hear the first note in a Zeppelin tune, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Well, like That's Hendrix that. is a very good example because, uh, where are you? Here. There he is. Is, you have a Marshall. You're going to get that nice crunchy tone, but you're not going to get that fat Strat sound. Strats are not fat. No. Right? Not at all. Especially into a Marshall. How do you make it fat? With the phosphates. <laughs> 
plug into like a clean Fender amp, it's not going to sound that great, you know, because you need the extra overdrive right. from the Marshall and create this uh, a mixture of amazing sound. But you could if you wanted to. You could utilize just the, the effect side. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's so many uh, options in here. And we also have the character knobs. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't lock you into one Marshall. Right. It, it goes through the different style of Marshall mm -hmm. sounds, so you can create even newer sounds, not just the Hendrix right. sound. Mm -hmm. Then we have other combinations like the mop top. This is a really cool one. One of my hero, uh, guitar hero, is Brian May. Yes. So I always wanted to create his sound, and it's very special, very unique. And it's not just the AC30. We have one right here. It is the treble booster going into it. <laughs> We have the two kind of booster. One is a mid mid range boost, mm -hmm. and one is the top end boost. Right. So you can even sweep between the two, which one you want to use it with with the box, or just turn it off, and you get that nice uh, Beatles box sound that is almost clean, but has that little break up on the top. Yep. And then we have one more here, My and this favorite. is the English Muffy, which is based on a high watt style. And the big muff. And we have the Muffy. Yeah. That's right. Yep. So, um, and we picked, uh, it's behind me, one of the early big muffs, uh, because we felt that had had the better tone. <laughs> So, we actually had the pedals. Yes. That we built these always on. and the amps, <laughs> right? Like literally, we we got we got the stuff. You yeah. know, we got real big muffs. We got an original tube screamer. You know, so so you were able to faithfully this recreate is one of them. Yeah. And I don't know if I can reach that far. <laughs> this is the other one. And these babies, they go for crazy money nowadays. Yeah. Because they're so rare and they're so cool. You know, back then, you could buy one of these used like for 30 bucks or 50 bucks. Now yeah. it's like try 10 times more. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, uh, uh, yeah. So we use these, but we don't use it in a way like a digital uh, product does it, that they put signals in. We actually listen to it. Well, that's important. <laughs> you know, ones and zeros are one thing, but listening to it with your ear, that's you right. know, there's certain nuances that you just can't create digitally. Exactly. You know. And then, we, of course, we look at the schematics and we, we, we determine how things work. Mm -hmm. Interesting thing. Sometimes a big muff into a high watt doesn't sound as good. It's not because there's so many different kinds. Right. Different kind of uh, big muffs mm -hmm. and also high watt probably had some changes, but Marshall's definitely had huge oh, yeah. changes throughout the years. So again, you need to find a special combination. And of course, that's where we come in because we've been doing this for Absolutely. close to 40 years now. You know, it's, it's crazy. So we understand the interaction between these pedals and amplifiers to create the best sound possible for you. So you don't have to go through that hell right. and try to buy all these expensive equipment to create that sound and they're very versatile because as you said earlier you know it spans a huge you know selection mm -hmm. of you know 
Marshalls and you know the high watts, you know, with the character knob. Right. You know, and um, you actually, don't have, you don't have to go hunting down each individual edition of you know exactly. big muffs and stuff like that. And Marshall since you're a bass player, yeah, no, this is like my favorite one. The where I'm at, I'm right there. Yeah, th this thing is killer on the bass. <laughs> I heard you playing it at your station, and I was like, "What is that?" Yeah, I don't like even that. didn't even uh, realize my own product, <laughs> because a lot of times you are listening to YouTube videos, yeah. and sometimes you listen to the original. Right. And I, yeah. I thought that we are listening to something like that, so yeah. it's very I, impressive. I'll tell you, like the demos we did of these, you know, uh, like the first note hits, you know, with with Chris playing guitar or mm -hmm. or Lang, mm -hmm. it it was like the Led Zeppelin one. <laughs> Just like down, down when he went into yeah. black. Door. It, that's the first note. <laughs> you know, and it, it's really cool to be in the room. You know, when these are getting developed and tested, because I hear it coming mm. from your office. I know, and you over, run in. Yeah. Like, what was that? <laughs> Holy crap! That sounds <laughs> awesome. Yeah. You know, and and we actually have these amps too. And right. sometimes I crank those up. Yeah. And and. It's impossible to tell when, yeah. when the amp is up or when right, this yeah. thing is up, so really it's cool. great. Yeah. So, Andrew, let me know about the features on these new pedals and the reason why they are so versatile. Because uh, it's like it's like two, you have two products put into each. Actually, each more than two because you also have channel switching. There you go. Tell okay, me about so, channel switching. Yeah, the channel switching, um, each amplifier has two drives and two levels, so you can set up a cleaner sound and a dirtier sound, and also have their own character. So you can have right. a 80s Marshall versus a, a 60s Marshall, yep. you know, and switch between the two, and then you kick in your pedal. So it's like unlimited, uh, you know, uh, sounds. But the, the cool features are beside the uh, character control that you have three band tone controls. You have uh, a tone control separately for the um, uh, overdrive or distortion. Of course, with the booster, it's a little bit different. Uh, you have a standard in and out, but the outs are low impedance. So now you have a choice. You can use the XLR into the board, but you can also use the uh, quarter inch out into other effects. And then you can use like a, a DI if you want to, uh, or you can go to your amp and you can run directly from here over 100 feet of cable because it's low impedance. Oh, cool. So it doesn't have any issues with noise and all that. Um, what else? Silent switching uh, has a, a 9 volt. Uh, DC input. Yeah, and they the, ship with the with yeah, the power adapter. Which is really cool because it has a really nice cord, not one of those cheap uh, zip cords. Nice braid. And also you can change the uh, uh, plug if you live in different countries, so you know, or you're traveling. Yep. You know, which uh, a lot of the uh, pros are traveling and it's nice to right. be able to switch. So Andrew, this was a lot of fun. Extremely informative. I'm really excited about the new product line, as I hope all of you are too. So for more information, click the link down below and uh, contact your favorite Tech 21 distributor to get yours. And I'm taking this one right now. Bye-bye. Bye. Is that lame? No, that's good. No, it was good. Very good. I meant it. Come <laughs>